In this video, we are going to talk about the test we've performed of the four flange technique on a horizontal axis and the results with the Acreos IOL. <laughs> Chapter 1, we showed you how the four flange technique works with an unfoldable IOL based on Dr. Mobrams and Dr. Yamani's technique. On Chapter 2, after presenting the IOL punch, we went over on how to apply the four flange technique with a foldable IOL. We first tried with a three piece sensor IOL. Dr. Yurimaki suggested we punch the hole in the IOL with a needle. We removed the haptics and used a 33-gauge needle to create a hole for the horizontal axis fixation. Observe on how we inserted the 6.0 proline suture inside the lumen of the needle. After that, we tested it to check on how firm and steady it would be. On test number two, we created a special device to assist us with the punching of the horizontal hole. We tested stability and durability. Observe on how the flange proline is still stable in the hole. Our third step was to perform a lab test to corroborate with what we had seen on our previous tests. As you can see here, the four flange technique when used with a horizontal axis seems stable and firm. And then we thought, why not use it with the Acreos IOL? Like Dr. Gupta described the sclerofixation using Gore-Tex wire, we thought about testing the four flinch technique with the Acros IOL. In the surgery, to use the four flinch technique with the Acros IOL, we use the same principle as we've been using. We pass through the sclera two 5.0 prolines, and each wire will be coming through the other end with the help of an insulin needle. Proline will go through the haptics of the IOL and will be pulled out parallelly to where it went in. After that, we repeat the maneuver in the other side. In this case, with the Acros IOL, we have the proline coming out in four ends, two in each side. We then start the flanging process. We first flange one side and then the opposite side to it. We repeated the procedure on the third and the fourth flanges. Once you're done with that, arrange the flanges in order to adjust it to the sclera. Up to this point, the best results on our research we find when the technique is applied on the horizontal axis with the Acreos IOL. However, we'll be keep researching to find the best results. Stay tuned! 